sent this little video clip to demonstrate something that I wrote about in an article called, or titled, The Illusion of the Club. And what I've done here is I've aimed the camera at the computer screen here, and I've brought up a paint program. And I've drawn this vertical black line right here on the screen. Right here, the reflection of the light from the camera almost looks like a little golf ball. So you can imagine that maybe that this right here would be considered the squared face of the club at impact. Okay. Now here we have a golf club. Okay, here's the squared face. All right. There's the squared face. And we see that because the mass of this club is off-centered, okay, the properties of the shaft, because of this alignment of the mass of the club, is going to be different along this plane as it is along this plane. Okay. So what I'm going to do is, first of all, I'm going to demonstrate the vibrational qualities of the club as we're moving above the horizon line. As we move above the horizon line, you notice that here's our setup position. The face of the club opens up to become more parallel to our target line. What is the nature of the vibrational qualities of the shaft at this moment in time? From the time we enter the middle, which would be above the horizon line, the change of direction to, to when we return to the, to the level position, okay, at the horizon line. Okay, here's what the shaft is doing. So I'm going to wrap the club on the floor here, and I'm going to show it. See the snaking vibration there? It's pretty well defined. I'll do it one more time. So we see here that as the club is moving above the horizon line, the shaft, because of the way the mass is aligned on the, or the way the head, the mass of the club is aligned, the shaft takes on more of a rope-like quality, a very soft rope, a whippy rope, okay? Now let's see what happens as the club is moving into the impact area where it becomes parallel, uh, perpendicular to the target line and parallel to this black line representing the impact line. Okay, so let's wrap the club now here. Okay, let's get it up. Not very much vibration there. It looks pretty stiff right there, right? Even though it's vibrating the other way, as I turn it, watch, I'll turn it, and you can see how it vibrates, see? And I turn it back, pretty stiff. Okay, so what I'm showing there is that as the club shaft is coming down below the horizon line and beginning to square as the face is squaring toward impact as we're moving toward impact this is the rope that was a soft rope up here okay above the horizon line gets to the horizon line and begins to stiffen 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 and becomes its stiffest at impact so there's a reason why uh, we cannot exert energy or effort when, we, when we're in that middle air or free air zone, which is